Hi, so this is um, where I've been living for the last week or so. Uh, floor six of that, I won't walk all the way up, there really is no point. Um, and this is uh, the University of Business and Economics or something like that, in International University of Business and Economics in Beijing. Um, so yeah, I've been training here for a week. people passing. Um, so it's been alright, it's pretty tedious, I haven't enjoyed really going back to the the classroom as it were. Um, and, uh, um, yeah and we since then since I last spoke we've been given our placements which is where we're gonna be for the next five months. Um, the majority of people go down south, well kind of to central China in a place called Chengdu. Um, I didn't get there. I mean, by no means the majority of people go there, but the largest, one of the largest groups of people go there. Um, so, so yeah, I'm going kind of east and slightly, ever so slightly north, which is a shame simply because it's going to get colder than this, which I know I haven't uploaded any of the videos, but the snow's been pretty heavy and it's been absolutely freezing otherwise. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to a city called... Um, I can't even remember its name, it begins with an S. Uh, this is incredibly embarrassing. I wrote it down a couple of times. It's like Shenzhen or something. No, can't remember. Shenzhen? No idea. Uh, it's in the Liaoxing province off to the right of Beijing. So it's still going to be very cold. Um, this is where we all go to eat. That's the free canteen. Uh, yeah. And I'm kind of just walking about now. I'm going. What I'm doing now is that I'm. I wanted to see the Temple of Heaven before I left. We signed all our contracts this morning, um, but we have to go to a building to find out where uh, where we're getting picked up to be taken to our placement and what, at what time. Some people might be leaving this evening, but I think the vast majority of us are leaving tomorrow. Um, yeah, so this is kind of it. Um, a bit of a different route. This is the route we kind of all take out every day. Um, the west gate, as it were. <laughs> um, yeah, but as you can see, architecturally, it's over there is actual Beijing. It doesn't doesn't really feel like a campus. It just feels like a ever so slightly shut off version of a city, which is good in a way, I guess. Um, but yeah, getting some. Pretty weird looks, which is fair enough. So I'm walking down a road talking to myself. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how much keep this rolling. Where's it where I'm going? So we need to have a comprehensive not that why I want to remember this, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's, it's pretty bland. But you know, got nothing better to do. Um, this is where we usually leave, this is the West Gate. And down that street over there is where all the coffee shops and bars are that we hang out at. Um, yeah, but I'm not going there now. Yeah, it's kind of milling about solo at the moment. Problem is, we, no one can really, well, a few people can communicate with each other because they've invested in the special SIM cards that this company that's sorting this program out offered us. Um, but it was quite clear to others that actually they were charging us an extortionate amount for what amounted to a pretty basic package. So a lot of people have still decided that 
they'll get SIM cards when they get to their placement, which means communication is difficult, especially as we haven't got the internet here. We have to either go down to the coffee shop and just point it out or pay again, pay the university money to unlock the Wi Fi, which literally nobody is prepared to do. Um, so, and everyone went out and got drunk last night, myself included. And people were kind of getting up at various times to kind of sorting something out otherwise unless you've organised it the night before is a bit of a mess so I think what I'm doing today is just my own thing provided that I am leaving tomorrow and not the next day and then I'll go out and get drunk with everyone this evening and so that involves trying to find the temple of heaven that's one of the major sites which I hear is great but didn't get a chance to do it before we came here. I've got a free afternoon. I spent quite a long time reading through the contract with everybody in a lecture-like thing this morning. It was all right, but it was boring. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess this seems quite peaceful. Really. I'm kind of walking aimlessly. I'm, I have a destination, but I have no real idea where it is. Um, no. How long has this gone on for? Six minutes, well. Wow. Alright, okay, I'll leave it here then, because this university pretty much amounts to this multiplied by lots. <laughs> um, so, yes, um, I will, once I've found the place, I will maybe turn it on again. If not, I'll make a video at the Temple of Heaven, because apparently that's quite something to see so yeah so this has been oh, kind of at the end of these videos I'm like what have I really given anyone to watch nothing just some streets <laughs> this is not China properly uh, I guess it's slightly better than a shitty hostel room though so there you go I've given you that you're welcome see you in a bit yeah Shenyang that's where I'm going I've got the name uh, so it turns out everyone's going tomorrow, which is the 13th of February. Apart from those going to Shenyang and some, some other place beginning with W. So I'm going out on the 17th, which gives me five fucking days in this place. Which initially I was annoyed at because I was kind of done. At the same time, though, I've now probably got my own room. Um, and I can check out the sites that I've missed. So, I may lay off Devil of Heaven today, or at least put some concerted effort into finding other people. Um, and then I'll check that out in my own time. Which I now seem to have a reasonable amount of. Um, also, Summer Palace I get to see, which I didn't see otherwise. So yeah, mixed bag. I can't help but feel a bit cynical about it when everyone else is as fine and we're like, they couldn't even tell me when I'm going. It just kind of had, not in an official printed table, but scrawled on a piece of paper underneath. Shenyang, 17th time, question mark. So, that's cool. Hope this is, <laughs> don't know about this school. I mean, I guess I didn't elaborate before. I'm teaching primary school kids, which is good in that you, I guess you're generally expected um, to achieve less with them linguistically, but at the same time it's a set of skills of which uh, I'm not accustomed at all really, because, well, I don't know, I just, we did a bit of practice in the training for kind of younger kids, and I found it quite difficult to break down language into into its simple forms, I guess. Um, I kept kind of muttering like this to myself as well. Um, but I think that might be a confidence issue. I was in front of lots of other people, not students, just other interns. So apparently that's much more nerve wracking than the actual thing. Uh, so hopefully when the, when the time comes, I'll be all right. But I'm gonna have to plan the shit out of the first few lessons. I mean, at least I've got some time to do that, but I don't know. Uh, it's going to be weird. Um, 
just to do anything because I mean presumably primary school because some people are getting landed with kindergarten kids which is even younger which is like below six which in a way is better because then you really aren't expected to achieve anything you're pretty much there just to be an English influence upon these kids and I th I'm pretty sure you're not left alone with, with children that small um, whereas this is a kind of uncomfortable middle ground between high school kids which would probably be the most receptive or at least kind of middle school to high school kids and the, and the younger ones so it's kind of the, I don't know whether they'll know any I don't know whether they'll know enough English to to kind of get anything from any of the activities that I've been thinking of otherwise so that's a struggle I mean I'll do some research this is all stuff I've now got time to achieve um, but yeah I don't know now I feel like I'm just Um, yeah, sorry, wandering around like headless chicken. Wasn't prepared to speak to myself in front of other people. Um, so that's cool. So yeah, bye.